Hello, I'm Lauren Markham. Thanks for joining us on AFL with Arena TV. Shortly, we'll hear from Collie Amberley's Jackson Painting and Nathan Scott from East Wagga Karingal. Both of their teams are gunning for the minor premiership, which could go down to the wire this year. Both teams will be confident of getting the four points this week, with the Hawks at Borellan and Collie Amberley hosting CSU. Although Josh Hamilton has made it clear the Bush Pigs are a danger game. Mara hosts the Jets in a big game at Langtry Oval, while Tamora and North Wagga meet at Nixon Park, fighting to keep their slim finals hopes alive. And that's why the Mara game is a big one. This should be a preview to the elimination final next month, but Mara in particular can't afford to slip up, with Tamora and North Wagga still in the picture. The Hawks still hold down top spot by two points. Their only loss was to Collie Amberley mid-season and the Blues have now stretched their winning streak out to 11 games with a big comeback victory over the Jets at Ardlethan. AFL Riverina TV caught up with Jackson Painting for a chat. Jackson Painting, 11 in a row for Collie now, mate. Uh, a big win today. What'd you make of that game? Yeah, no, we obviously got off to a slow start, but uh, yeah, Josh had a few worse sad half time about playing as a team and um, yeah we dug in as a team and as you can see when we play to our potential we're a pretty good side so it's all about playing them four quarters I think. It was a big goal just before three quarter time mate uh, after you got that free um, did you did you know you'd slot it from the minute you got it? Oh well, I was hoping I'd kick it or it was, would have been a sorter if I'd have missed it so yeah no, I was happy to see it go through. It's a tough day for goal kicking though, but um, there was a few crucial goals, goals from your teammates leading up to that, like Tommy Groves and Cody O'Malley. Uh, you got going in that second half, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. No, nah. the wind was uh, blowing a gale there, and so for them two boys to slot them goals to get us back in the game was really good. So yeah, no, it was super stuff for them too. Big last quarter, and you blokes have got a lot of experience on your side. Have you enjoyed your footy this year with um, you know under Josh coaching and, and the blokes that have come in? Yeah, no, nah, look, the Josh and the boys that have come across um, really brought a new, few fresh faces, like. Mitch done a super job with the side, so to see a few uh, new boys around the club, it's really got a lot of excitement around, and obviously while we're winning, it's, uh, we're on a roll, so if we can keep that roll going, well, who knows what'll, where we can go. Your own footy, you're enjoying, you look like you're enjoying your footy, are you happy with the way you're going? Yeah, no, look, can't complain, Josh has sort of gave me a role to play up forward, and I'm hopefully keeping him happy doing it, so yeah, I'm just doing what I'm asked to do, and hopefully I'm fulfilling it for him. See you next week, and then you got the Rock and East Walker to finish off. Uh, anything you blokes got to sort of work on for the finish? Oh, look, we'll be happy to just keep winning, mate. We'll just take it one game at a time, the old cliche, but no, look, um, we'll just take every week as it comes. I know you're a big fan of Jesse White, mate. Uh, have you got a Jesse White in your team? No, nah, definitely don't have any <laughs> Jesse Whites in our team, mate. <laughs> thanks, mate. All the best. No worries. Thanks, Pete. Jackson painting there, and from one colourful character to another, the Hawks' Nathan Scott played his 200th club game a couple of weeks ago. We'll leave it to Nathan to close out this week's show. Early in the day, um, got taught a few lessons from uh, Matty Hard and Mick Duncan from Griffith. They are two that I watch pretty closely and learn their running styles and patterns and stuff like that. Uh, I reckon uh, young Mitchie Hadrill, he's a, that just played against him just then, he, he's a bit of a star, he's a young fella and yeah, he just cannot be beaten, good, on, good below his knees and good over his head. It's good to be part of a winning culture, like, uh, a few years ago it was pretty tough but hung out and uh, yeah, hopefully a bit more success in the near future. Can't go past him. Brocky Argus, mate, he's always always up and about, which is good. Yeah, it's good for the team. There's no easy games in this competition anymore, which is good, so it'll be nice preparation heading into the finals for us. Yeah, we certainly did, mate. Uh, we've been, it's been uh, our form over the last few weeks, to be honest with you. And, uh, yeah, but it's good to know that we can uh, win when it gets tight. The last three weeks have been a bit of a struggle, but we've uh, been getting the wins. So hopefully we can find a bit more form. <laughs>